This lesson is about the list method. Methods are like functions, but they can only be accessed by an object. We are talking about the list method. That means, first of all, we need a list. Let's create a list named number underscore lists. And the elements are 1, 2, 5, 1, 10, 14, few arbitrary numbers. We're going to print it to see if everything is okay. Here we can see the list, which means things are working properly. Suppose we want to add a number at the end of the list. We can use the append method to do it. Type number list dot append. Then pass the number we want to add as an argument. Let's run the program and we can see 20 on the list now. The append method adds a new element at the end of the list. What if we want to insert something at some particular index? We use the insert method to do that. So type in number list dot insert. This method requires two arguments. First is the index, which means the location we are trying to insert a new element. The second one is the element we want to insert. So we are inserting 7 at index 1. Run the program and we can see the previous value 2 is no longer here. It has been replaced by 7. If we want to remove a specific element from the list, we can use the remove method. Type in the elements you want to remove, for example 2, then run the program. We can see 2 is removed from the list. Sometimes we need to sort a list. We use the sort method to do it. Here we can see list has been sorted in ascending order. If we want to reverse it, we have to use the reverse method and the order will be reversed. Very easy, right? One typical operation we perform on lists is checking if an element is present on the list. Suppose we want to check if one is on the list. Use the print function, then type one in number list. Here it is a boolean expression. If 1 is on the list, it is true, otherwise it is false. Let's run the program. We can see true on the terminal window. That means 1 is on the list. Let's try with 12. This time it is false because 12 is not on the list. Suppose we need to find out the number of occurrence of an element. That means how many times an element has been repeated on the list. We use the count method to do it. Let's check how many times one has occurred on the list. We can see on the terminal window, two times. We have learned how to find an element using index. What if we need to find the index of an element? Well, it is again a simple task. We can easily do it using the index method. Here we want to know the index of 10 and it is 2. Sometimes we need to copy an entire list. Let's define another variable number list 2. Using the copy method we can copy the entire list into this new list. Let's run the program and we can see the actual and copied list. A frequent operation we perform on lists is the pop method. It pops the last element of a list. We can see that after this method, one is gone from the list which was the last item. And if we want to clear an entire list, we use the clear method. Run the program and we can see 
the list has been emptied. And these are the frequently used list methods. So that's all for this lesson. Let's go to the next lesson.